everyone, I'm Marianne Mitchell, creator of Whole Artist Mastery, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I talk about finding your authentic expression, making compelling work that's uniquely yours, and understanding how you want to show up in the world as a whole artist. So today, I'm going to share the ongoing struggle of this painting. So if you have been following my YouTubes, <clears throat> you have seen this painting before. And I'm going to talk about what happens when you get feedback about a painting that has thrown you off track in terms of whether you think it's finished, whether you think it's good, is it working? And uh, so I'm gonna get into a few of um, the ways that I handle that. First, I'm going to share with you the intention of what I want the story to be in this painting and what it's been for a fairly long time at this point. I want it to convey this sense of, um, in fact, I've titled it Box of Infinity. So this is like a, a portal into infinity. It's this black hole, but it has some light in it through this dark red here, surrounded by this ethereal world. So it's unclear as to what the box of infinity is. It could be this area because it has that sense of infinity in it. It could be this little box here because it has a sense of going back and um, into outer space. And the rest of it could be the box because it's actually a square painting. This area here has always been the piece that I've struggled with in terms of, is it really important to have this shape here? And I've worked really hard to have the upper left quadrant and the lower right quadrant talk to each other through both opposite colors so that the peachy red here, the peachy pink, is opposite the green blue here. And the darker green blue here is um, in conversation with this brilliant light turquoise, you know, sort of aqua color here. And so it serves an important purpose in terms of color relationships. Does it serve an important uh, element? Does it serve as an important element, compositionally speaking? And that was the feedback that I received recently was, no, it does not. And in fact, the feedback included this looking like something that they recognized. And so immediately I think, oh my gosh, it's not working, it's not good. And having worked so hard on developing the um, light and color and having this whole thrust come up over here, I'm now really questioning, do I want to keep this area? And one of the hardest things to deal with is, is when you have worked so hard in developing the layers of color, the sense of light, the textures, only to realize mm, maybe it needs to go away. So before you make a decision about whether an area or whether a large part of a painting that you've worked really hard to develop a finished surface needs to be sacrificed for the greater good. You need to check in with yourself and say, okay, is that external feedback uh, true? Or uh, true is the wrong word. You know, how do I feel about that? I mean, not everyone is going to experience the painting the way I experience the painting or the way you experience the painting. Each one of you are going to feel differently about this painting. But I'm the artist here, and so I have to decide, do I listen to um, feedback that, that talks about this being a particularly recognizable shape uh, of something in their life? 
Or do I say, well, okay, so that's evocative in that sense. Um, but I, I wanted this to be like an in-between area between the very light and the very dark. So I'm going to show you uh, both in stills a photograph of this painting as it is, and then I'm going to show you a little bit of a photoshopped version where this is gone. And I'm currently contemplating which way should it go? So I would love to hear comments from you as to which, which version you think is, um, speaks to you more, you think works better, and whether neither of them work and a whole new direction has to go, which I have been known to do with certain So we talked about what do you do when you receive feedback that throws you off track? How do you come to terms with whether the painting is finished and whether you think it's doing what you want it to do? And if not, how do you then go back into the painting? How much time do you need? So I hope this was helpful and um, help you get on your journey with certain paintings that you're struggling with right now. And if this was helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the whole Artist Mastery YouTube channel. So appreciate it. The more people we have, the more the information gets around, the more people are benefiting from what we're talking about here. Then you can head on over to the website and subscribe. You'll get a free PDF booklet with all kinds of information that will help you, that will support you on your journey. You can take a look at the online classes available. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one mentorship programs, sign up for a complimentary conversation. You can share with me your story about where you are in your journey. And I share with you how I work with people. And so I hope to see you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.